Welcome on and all to the Math Magic Show. In this one, we're going to answer the following question. Find the value of k so that the binomial x minus 3 is a factor of the function f of x equals x cubed plus kx plus 6. It's a common kind of question. So, we're going to use synthetic division to answer the question. First of all, for this to be true, so in other words, for x minus 3 to be a factor, it has to be true that x minus 3, if you set that equal to 0, it would give you a root. So based on that, if you add 3 to both sides, you will conclude the following, that x equals positive 3 is a root. Why do I want to know that to answer the question? Because then I can do synthetic division. And if the result of the remainder for the synthetic division step is 0, then x minus 3 will be a factor. In other words, x equals 3 will be our root. So let's go to that process. It will look like this. So put your 3 over here. That's the root version. So that's why, that's why it's positive 3 that's coming from here. And then you set up synthetic division. So here across the top, you're going to put the coefficients. So remember that up here is the following, right? It says x cubed. So the coefficient on the x cubed part, that would be equal to 1. The coefficient on kx squared is just k, so that goes over here. The coefficient on the x term by itself, remember that's like a positive 1 in front of it, so it's 1 over here. And the constant is 6, so you put 6 over here. And then you go and you do the process of the synthetic division carefully. Let's carry that out. First I take this 1 straight down. So it's going to give me then 1 times 3, which is 3. That comes down here. And now stop for a second, because above the 3, as you can see, is a k. So then you just have to add these straight down, basically, this way, okay? So when I do that, it's going to give me the following, k plus 3, which is k plus 3. Then I continue with synthetic division. So when I do that, I'm going to have k plus 3 multiplying the 3, the root. So let's go through this slowly. If you need to, you can make side work out of it. What I mean is the following. I'm going to do 3 times k plus 3. So when I do that, that's basically 3k plus 9. And that goes over here. That becomes 3k plus 9 right here. So we're keeping k as a variable here in this process. And then I'm going to add again straight down. So that's going to give me 3k plus 10. Because the 3k is one term and the 1 plus the 9 is 10. And again I go with the synthetic division process. So I need to do now 3k plus 10. Multiplying that 3 on the outside up here, the root. So when I do that, it's going to give me, let's see here, it's going to give me 9k plus 30. So over here, under the 6, now I'm going to put 9k plus 30. And for the 3 to be a root or the x minus 3 to be a factor, what has to be true is the following. These two things, the 6 and the 9k plus 30 added straight down have to be equal to 0. In other words, this has to be 0. I'm not saying it is right now, it has to be 0, okay? So... Let's create a small equation and find the value of k that makes that true. So what I mean is the following. It has to be the case that 9k plus 30, which is this value, 9k plus 30, plus the 6, has to be equal to 0. We can find k from there. So let's do that. I'm going to, let's see here, add up the constants. So it becomes first 9k plus 36 equals 0. And from there, let's do the next step. I'm going to do minus 36, minus 36. These will cancel on the left side, naturally enough. That's going to give me here 9k equals negative 36. And then I divide through by the 9. Divide through by 9. Mm -hmm. so that's telling me that k equals negative 4 is what we are looking. I can say that I have the following function. f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. This is my function, and this function has x minus 3 as a factor. In other words, x equals positive 3 is a root. Okay, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video.